Hi there, this is Scott Stanton from Current Swell, and you're at Popularity. What impact did the Peak Performance Project have on you? What's the most important lesson that you walked away with? Um, there are so many lessons, really, from the whole thing and the whole, um, the whole like, I don't I wouldn't even know where to start, but mostly I think it was just, like, what I took away from it or the band took away from it was, um, I think just, like, the, the week that we spent in um, Princeton at the boot camp and, you know, all the ideas and learning from all the other bands and it was just, like, a, I called it the Ideas Factory because it was just, like, every day we'd learn something new from a different band and, um, you know, like, that's obviously going to help your own band and your own project. And um, so I think just, like, that whole learning experience at the boot camp was probably the most important thing. When you write songs for a new album, do you take past successes and failures into consideration? Does that factor into the process at all? Oh, yeah, for sure. I I find that, like, the majority, like, sometimes it's always different, but the majority of the time when I write music, I kind of... Um, I like, I, it feels like I could use a lot of like my past experiences and present and um, like mix in a little bit of like, I guess, um, you know, like fiction, just like um, my own imagination and kind of like combined this story that like half of it, sometimes it's always true, but sometimes it's like half true and sometimes it's completely made up. But for the majority of the time, I find it's like, you know, a lot of my real life and what happened to me when I was younger made into a story at, with a little bit of fiction because sometimes you got to change a, a couple things to make a song sound better than what actually happened, you know? When you went in to record the new album, did you have a vision or did you just kind of let the pieces fall where they may? Uh, no, we just let it all really fall together. The only kind of vision that we really had was that we wanted to make a cohesive record. And because I find uh, people have like even said that like yeah, I think a, a couple of our last records have bounced all over the place a little bit. So, and that's just because we decided to write, you know, like whatever we wanted to write. And um, we always have written whatever we wanted to written, write. But um, I think that this time we kind of just like, we had like four or five songs that we really wanted to have on the record. And thank God those four or five songs really did have kind of like a cohesiveness. And so we pretty much based the record off of those five songs. We pre we had like 30 songs to start with. We picked the four that we really wanted, and then we just kind of took some more of the songs out of the 30 to kind of complement each other. When you went back to listen to the songs on a long time ago, did any of them surprise you in either a good or a bad way? Yeah, you always get surprised with like, you know, like, um, The Stumble is one of the songs that, you know, we were just like, let's just go all out here. And we had Ghosty on bass just, like, doing, like, you know, like a really crazy bass line. And, and um, Chris on drummer, like, on drums, just, like, you know, doing, like, you know, like, just think outside the box we were kind of doing. And we kind of put together this really interesting piece because it was just, we were trying to be, you know, just, like, you know, almost just like as random as we could in a way, and it can be surprising sometimes what you come up with for sure. Is there a song that you feel has helped define your career to this point? Um, no, not really. I think it's a collection of, I think a collection of songs, but it, you know, like, because everyone you meet always has a different favorite song, I'd say. You know, like, um, there, there hasn't been like a, like a huge hit of ours or anything like that but like on this on this record you know like Brad's song's been really good for us and Too Cold's been really good for us and on our last record Young and Able and Curse was really good for us and so it's just a collection of songs I think that has really helped our career. How do you feel that you have grown just as a musician and songwriter between the last album and this one? Um, I, just, I just think it was like a change in writing, um, just writing about our past and our friends. We, we were, like in the past, we've written a lot more about like our lifestyle and our traveling lifestyle. And I think in this record, not consciously, it wasn't like something we consciously did, but we just did end up writing about friends, family members, and um, like, you know, spending time with our loved ones and stuff like that. And they kind of, turn and it, it, that's just like what came out at the end what were the biggest challenges that you felt approaching the album um recording is always a big challenge and just trying to find the best way to do it you know like we recorded at um we recorded the bed tracks and the majority of the record at um mushroom in vancouver which is 
is a really, really nice expensive studio and so we were doing like 12 hour days and that can that can be exhausting when you're you know you wake up and you record all day and then you literally stop recording go home go to bed with like the you know kick drum like kind of pounding in your ear still as you're trying to get some sleep and then you wake up the next morning you do it again and it just can be exhausting so how do you feel the album stands out to you personally what do you love most about it uh, I just I just like the collection of songs, you know, like what I'm really stoked about, there's no songs on the album that I don't like, you know, I, I think every album we've made, I was like, what? You know, like after recording, it was like, man, should we, like, I don't know if we should have put this on the album and you like question yourself or something. And I really find that um, on this album, we all, I think, are just happy with all the songs that are on it, which is really important because we want to play the album every night and that's what we've been doing on tour and so. What do you love most about music? As a songwriter, I I just, I love the puzzle of, like, writing a song, and I love performing. I think that, you know, the biggest thing is I just, I have a, we have a huge passion for performing and being able to share music with the world, and, you know, having fans come out, like, night after night is just, you know, the, the, the best thing as, a, like, as a performer, I love. But, like, music in general is just does so many things it relieves stress it passes the time it you know it, it's just like a blessing what expectations do you have for yourself when you're creating music uh none really like we just do what we want to do and we just have fun and i you know i don't expect i don't like to expect anything i just you know like we just work as hard as we can work and we just take it day by day step by step and we let it we just let it or the past you know, pave itself. What do you feel makes a good song? Um, well, it depends, but, like, I think a good song is definitely, like, a good melody and a good hook and a good storyline and um, something to connect to. I think really, like, helps with a good song, you know, like, if someone, like, listens to it and they can connect to it on a personal level, really will help with that, I think. And, um, but, yeah, just, like, you know, the good melody, good hook, and um, just a good tune all together is what creates a good song. At this point in your music career, what do you fear most? There's nothing to fear. Everything has been so positive. Like, I think because our band has always just kind of, we've never tried to be a band, and when we were just writing songs, and all of a sudden we started getting shows, and then all of a sudden we had a booking agent, and we didn't even know, like, anything about the business, and... Now we're, you know, like in Quebec City on tour with Charlie Winston playing massive theaters. It's like, if it went down, you know, like we had a good run and if it went down like tomorrow. So it's just like, you know, we're, I think we're always just positive and happy about it. We don't really get too concerned about like, you know, trying to make it because we're just already having a blast and, you know, just sharing our music and that's what we wanted to do. Anything that you'd like to say to the readers of popularity? Um, just, yeah, like, Check it out, just check us out, and um, if you like it, you know, music is a personal thing. If you want to check it out and you like it, that's great, and if you don't, then, you know, don't come to the show. <laughs> um, we're just happy, happy to be playing shows.